ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Last one. Manuel Tino Avila. Oh, man. I, I, I got a soft spot for him because, again, see, it always comes back to the people I first interviewed. And he was one of the first. I interviewed him and Paul Mendez. I'm sure you remember Paul. I know Paul. Uh, yeah, uh, Tino, uh, I went out to see him. He was <laughs> sparring at this like school and just such a- uh, Vacaville great... Powell, probably. It's like a classroom yeah, that's it. environment. That's it. He's just such a great kid. And he's another one that started, you know, talk about hard scrabble. And uh, he, he, I thought, I loved his composure. You know, that's what I always liked about him. Look, he was always so cool in there, and, and uh, he told me that obviously boxing, that's when he was his coolest, was it was his home, and you could see it, and uh, uh, he's tough too, you know, he got a good chin, I've seen him get whacked a number of times, and he, he can take it, he's got a lot of skill, you know, and, and I, I, he hasn't fought for a while, I haven't heard anything, you probably know this more than me, uh, I, I don't think he's retired. I, it's just when they go quiet like this, you wonder what's going on. But, you know, he lost his last fight and it was a tough fight. Uh, he was actually he did pretty good in the early going of that fight, if you remember. And then uh, uh, he ended up getting stopped. But first time he's been stopped. But I, I hope Golden Boy, I think Golden Boy still has him. They did. They didn't cancel his contract because, again, he's he's got a lot of skill and a lot of talent. And he's gritty. So I don't know if he's hit his ceiling yet as far as that goes. He might be able to even get better, even though, you know, they say, right, you, you hit a certain point. Like, you know, like we were talking about golf, you get so good. And then unless you happen to find somebody who really can help you get a better in one aspect of your game, then you're going to stay the same, right? So I, I, I would like it if he could get with some trainer because he's had issues with a trainer. I mean, how would he be with Robert Garcia? You know, something like that that could bring out another aspect of his skill that he's got, I think, but he hasn't been able to show it or he hasn't brought, it hasn't been brought out of him. So I hope that he's, I don't know what he's doing, but I hope he, uh, I hope he's, con I, I, I'm going to say, I don't think he's quit, but. I hope that he hopefully gets that opportunity to be with somebody who can help him, you know, get better with what he's got. Because again, I think he's got more to offer. So I'm, I don't think the team's the issue for him. I know Tina pretty well. He's back in the gym. He's training. He's looking to, I believe, campaign at 122 pounds for his next fight. And my thing with him is he, he's addicted to working. He works a lot of jobs. He loves providing for his family. He has a young family. Yes. And for Tino, what I would like to see from him, both as someone that writes about boxing, but also as a friend to Tino, I would like him to really commit to the gym and try for the duration of a camp to just give it everything he has for one fight for his next fight because I feel like in his two losses he's really not he's beaten himself kind of it hasn't been the um it hasn't been ideal circumstances so I'm just hoping that when he goes back to 122 which I believe he will I just hope that he gives himself a fair shot in training and I think he knows this and I think the reason I'm saying this publicly is I want him I want him to do well and I want him to give himself every chances because I think Tino could be a Hall of Famer. I really believe that. I think that he's got one of the best jabs I've ever seen. He has a ton of talent. I just wish that he'd just have one of these camps that we talk about. It's a legendary camp. That's what I'm hoping for. I second that. I hope he does because I don't want him to have regrets. You know, I don't want him to be 40 years old sitting there going, man, if I had only focus totally on my a camp and giving myself a total 100% shot, who knows? So uh, I, I, I hope he does too. I hope, I hope he agrees with you and uh, does it. Maybe he will. It's just, you know, sometimes circumstances, but I hope he does it. 